Within the Rider bench planes, there's a whole range of little block planes. These are very useful for your toolbox. There is nine and a half on a standard, a sixty and a half on a standard, a nine and a half on the deluxe, and the sixty and a half on the deluxe. We'll go over the differences in a minute. The one in the middle is a sixty-nine. A little bit unusual. So the standards have basically the black cap on the back here, so I can undo the screw. That's the major difference between the two types of plane. Okay, so that's the nine and a half. The nine and a half on the deluxe has the bronze cap. So next question people say is, well, why is that a nine and a half, not a sixty? The major difference here really is how the blade is sat. This is a higher angle. This is much lower. So we're looking at the blade angle of that. This one's higher up. That's the major differences between the two ranges. All right. Obviously the deluxe more to do with the polished brass. So next difference. This has the narrower blade, so different width that all comes into that a little bit, so depending on what you're framing. So what are the angles? This is actually set at 30 degrees. This is 13 and a half. The lower the angle, the easier it is actually to plane with. So the best angle would be zero, but that means you've got nothing to hold the blade in. So the blade is actually obviously sat inside the body. These are a high ductile iron body, a spring steel blade. If it goes in nicely. Got our cap with that on. So we've said the same about the deluxe. Like I said, the major difference, really bad though. Now the nicer thing I would say with the deluxe is how this sits in the palm of the hand. That actually feels a bit more comfortable to hold that, grip that. We then have in the middle 69. This is a little bit unusual because if you go down to the 60 and a half, so now we're all wet. Be that or even on the standard. So the 69 has the width of the nine and a half, but the lower angle. So easier to set up with, easier to cut with. So the 69 and a half, let's have a look. So we can take the cap off. Has that wider blade as we've said, that low angle of 13 and a half degrees. We want to sharpen the blade. So our blade has a primary bevel of 25 degrees. That's about bare minimum. We could actually sharpen that at 25 degrees and keep maintaining that bevel. We can go 30. You could go lower if you really want. That's the 25. So let's just put an edge on there. So diamond stone, this is the thousand grit. Shit, what we're getting, we've got our edge. Small burn. We do the back. Undo it with a screwdriver. A little bit of the polishing compound for the lover. Drag that along. Both sides, that'll get rid of the wire edge. That feels pretty good. So we can put it back in, get it located. We do the lock up, so we turn the brass wheel inside here. A little bit fiddly, but Winding that up, locking it in place. Feels good. I'll set up the lock. Cutting there, not quite cutting the other side. So again, we have lateral movement. So we have a lever, either side. Still cutting a little bit on my right hand side, a bit too much. Feels better. So let's just move these along a little bit, create a bit of room. So you can obviously play with the grind. Gently bring the blade forward, find our cut. So we'll cut down the grind nicely so we can come back a little bit. Too much. That's good. I get nice light shaving. Well, these are beautiful because you can almost put them in your pocket. The other thing you can obviously do with these, which is really where the name comes from, it says block plane. They were traditionally used for cutting the end grain on big shopping blocks. So, in the vice I put my shooting board. 
we want to paint the end square. It's just a way of cutting the end grain fibres as much as the long grain. And this is where that low angle really becomes important. Nice bit of this is getting no tear out, cut nice and cleanly across the end grain. Different type of fibre. So, your little block paint, very useful piece of kit. Hopefully you understand the differences between the standard, the deluxe, the different angles. The lower the angle, the easier it is to cut with. Okay, so that's the range of block paints.